are you okay? It's nothing. I'm just scared that I won't be able to maintain this form much longer. Okay, don't panic. Wait here, Kaliroe. I'll go fetch Grandpa Finch. Take it slow, Diona. Finch isn't a young man anymore. He's not as steady on his feet. I can still hold on a bit longer. Okay, stay strong. You can do it. How are you holding up? Would you like some support, Miss Kelly Roy? You can also lean on Paimon if you need. Thank you, all of you. Uh, is that Diona? You're back early today. Today's your special day, Grandpa Finch. Can you come with me? Oh? Well, where are we going? Over there, to the waterfall. <laughs> Did you catch a nice little fishy? Uh, just come with me already. This is extremely important. But I promised your father that I'd go to... Th all right, <laughs> all right. No need to get worked up. I'm right behind you. That's more like it. Now come on, I'll help you. <laughs> oh, Draft's daughter is just like him when she's on a mission. What are all these people doing here? Even Mika's here? <laughs> How's work been going lately? And even some friends from abroad, if I'm not mistaken. You do know that today's not my birthday, don't you? Greetings, Mr. Finch. My name is Chong Yoon. We all met at the Poetry Gala, and... Well, there's someone we'd like to introduce you to. Finch... <gasps> that voice. Kelly Roe. I didn't think you'd still remember. Oh, I remember. <laughs> I remember all right. How could I ever forget? Although your appearance is different than I recall, back then you looked like you'd stepped right out of a fairy tale. Oh, but I'm one to talk. Of course a fairy from a fairy tale can change forms. But in your eyes, I'm probably the one who's changed beyond all recognition. <laughs> oh, even after all these years, you still know just what to say to make me laugh. I thought you were only able to appear in the dead of night. There have been times when I've wondered whether it really was all a dream. I'm sorry I kept you waiting for so long, Finch. Oh, it can't have been that long. It's been but the blink of an eye, really. Finch, would you like to hear a poem I wrote for you? A poem? You write poetry now? Well, of course. I'd be delighted to listen. I'll hang on every word that leaves your lips. 
In that case, let me read you a story about the Spring Fairy. Far from my native land I roamed. In streams I slept, many seasons I met as the sun set and rose. I searched for a garden to call a home, and the moonlight ebbed as the water flowed. A soft breeze beckoned me unto a spring. Sleep, weary wanderer, your journey is over. May the dancing petals sweeten your slumber. At dawn, I hummed the melody of a distant stream, and the songs in the night serenaded my dreams. A boy's tender tears trembled through the water, stirring me more than any starlight sonata. He wove me a wreath from past petals and future buds. I crossed beyond the veil of dreams to the realm of flesh and blood. Look at the love that shines from his eager gaze. Answer the call of his heart, lest this moment go to waste. The kittens and fireflies invited my heartstrings to sing. But I was a stranger to the melody of mankind, and knew not how this tune should begin. As the river of dreams trickled into the ocean blue, every time a crystal fly flapped its wings, older it seemed he grew. But I learned to fathom human ways each stumbling step I took, and clouds of confusion became crystal clear in the vulnerable verse I wrote. As seed yearns for soil and trees for the sun, a once foreign melody inside my heart sung, and it cried out your name on every string it could strum. Now I give my dream to you. May it be in your slumber a sweet spring to quench your thirst. Now, I hand my heart to you, praying my belated promise might meet still with your trust. <gasps> yes. This is how I remember you from when we first met. All those years ago. It really has been a long, old time, hasn't it? Finch, I... It's okay. I understand. Your poem, it... It explains everything. Thank you, Finch. Please, take this. <gasps> it's so beautiful. This is a droplet of water condensed from my own power. Finch, I don't have a physical form like humans, and I can't stay by your side. I don't know how long it'll be before I can change back into human form again. But as long as this droplet remains with you, our hearts will always be connected, no matter the distance between us. I will always be one with the spring. From this day onwards, if you call me, I will meet you in your dreams. You've really learned a lot, haven't you? And you don't even mind that the kids are watching. Does it bother you? How could it possibly? This is the happiest moment of my life. I just worry that once I go to sleep, I won't ever want to wake up again. Huh? Ha <laughs> ha. 
I'm only joking. <sighs> it seems that you still have much to learn. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Grandpa Finch and Kelly Rowie look so happy. Oh, what a perfect moment. Diona, thank you for fetching Finch for me. I've never forgotten you either. I used to chat with you a lot. Wasn't it ever annoying? <laughs> of course not. You are one of the truest friends I have in the entire world. That's why I gave you your gift, so that a part of me could always be with you. Huh? Wait. So is Diona's ability to mix delicious drinks from disgusting ingredients a blessing from this water spirit? And if so, is it also possible that my pure Yang spirit is a gift from some being? <laughs> my physical form is about to disappear. Finch. Yes? I've never regretted meeting you or deciding to talk to you that night. Not once, all these long years, not for a single moment. <laughs> it probably goes without saying, but neither have I. Although, it was different from in the stories. That fateful night, I never gave you that kiss. This gift that represents my promise and my love, I give it to you now. Hmm? It's okay, everyone. She's gone now. What? But Paimon didn't get a chance to say goodbye. Grandpa Finch. Don't worry now. She hasn't gone far. Just like she said, she'll always be one with the spring. By our side and in our dreams. Oh, child, let me stay here a little longer. 